folks who oppose this legislation, and I'm looking specifically at the AARP and the North Carolina Association of Educators, what, what can you tell me, how is this legislation and this appropriation going to affect them? And the bottom line is, how is it affecting them financially? Well, sir, I don't know their objections because those two groups have never said anything to me about objecting. Uh, I don't know what their... Uh... Jackson? Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. I'm Bob Jackson. I'm the state director for AARP here in North Carolina. To avoid conflicts of interest, the governing board should not include insurers or health care providers as voting members. Unfortunately, House Bill 115 does not adequately include consumers on the governing board. How is this going to affect the seniors' insurance needs and desires? I'm going to, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to ask the staff to, to answer that because I'm not sure if I can give you a good answer. Was having a discussion with an uh, executive, uh, insurance executive, not uh, long ago, and he informed me that our bill, as it's before you today, is being used by a lot of states now as a model legislation to go by. So I feel very good about that. 